Today, we're gonna to be making some incredible animated emotes just like these. By the way, guys, make sure you hang out till the end because I have a special tip that is going to be awesome and make this whole video worth it. All right, let's go. Before we jump into this, let's get a quick word from today's video sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by Own.Pro, the subscription service from the legends at Own.TV. For just $12.99 or less a month, you get unlimited access to over 400 premium overlays and alerts. After a quick install of the Own.Pro software, you'll be able to change the entire look of your stream with the click of a button. Use my affiliate link down below to support the channel and check out all that Own.Pro has to offer. Guys, if you're not already, make sure you sub to this channel. We're making videos just like this every single week to teach you how to make some really incredible designs and videos to up your streams using free programs like Canva. Make sure you follow me over on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, let's get on into the tutorial. So the very first thing you're gonna wanna do, go to canva.com. Create an account if you don't already have one. Um, for this tutorial, you don't necessarily need Pro, uh, but if you want a free 30-day trial of Pro, I'll have it linked down below. Um, now that you're here, first thing you're gonna do is gonna type in emotes. Now, if this is if you do not already have emotes to use, um, I'm gonna go through and, and pick out some of these. Um, and you can see there's, there's a lot. Um, and some of these have multiple expressions. You can hover over them and it'll show you them up close. Some of these are, are really awesome. I think I'm gonna go with these chickens right here. Cause these are the ones I was playing with before. So I'm just gonna click it and open them just like that. Uh, I have all of these available in their full size. Okay. So we're gonna go and start with probably the easiest one and do like this angry face. Cool thing about these emotes too, guys, you can change the colors if you would rather you know, some of this suit your brand colors even more. Um, you can come in here and, and change it to, to fit however you'd like. I'm gonna keep it the color it is, but you have full flexibility to change these as needed. So I'm gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna switch back over here to Canva, and I'm gonna create a design, and I just want a, a separate um, file. So I'm just gonna go with an Instagram post, 1080 by 1080. Now, again, I'm gonna you know, right click and click copy, uh, and press Control V and paste it right there. Now I'm gonna size it up just a little bit. Now the main thing is he's angry. We wanna show this anger. And I think the, the coolest way to do it is just show with fire, right? So if you go over here to your elements, uh, you can search fire uh, and there's gonna be fire. Now what I want is I want animated fire. So I can take, you know, this one right here or when I click this, Canva's gonna give us magic recommendations. So I can click see all and we can see different color fire, different shapes. Uh, different flows. Main thing is I want a animated fire. All right, so now that we have the fire that we want, we'd like to work with this one. I'm going to kind of position it and I want to scale it up. My plan is to put this fire behind him um, so I can even go up to here because you're not going to really be able to see it. And I just want it to look kind of random. You're just seeing pieces here, pieces there. Uh, and I'm all I'm doing is holding down Alt whenever I drag it over and that makes a copy of it. Uh, this one I want to make a little bit smaller and maybe it's kind of Coming up right there and one final one, um, just like that. And I'm just gonna select uh, my chicken, who I think has been put as the background, maybe not. All right, so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to go to position, I'm gonna send it to the back. Now I'm gonna click right here and get a hold of my chicken and I'm going to send him to the front. And so now he's just chilling here and he has this fire and I can kind of readjust these however I want to. Um, and get them looking good, right? Uh, and one other thing, I think we had found uh, some really cool glasses that I think looked good on him. These right here. So we actually uh, put these glasses on him just like this. You know, they're, they're here, why not? You can use these glasses with any, your other, any of your other ones. And just like that, done. You're gonna go over here, click download. Um, oh, I'm sorry. We actually wanna change this time. I'm just gonna change it down or uh, this time over here, I'm gonna change it to about two seconds. I think that's plenty long enough. We're gonna click download. Now you're gonna notice guys, this is gonna export with a white background. If you wanna know how to make this a transparent GIF, stick around to the end of the video, okay? In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the background color to a bright, ugly green, okay? You wanna see how to remove that, hang out to the end of the video, we're gonna get there. So we're gonna go and download this one. I'm gonna give it a name so I know what it is. Fire, chicken, YouTube. There we go. Names. 
I want it to be a GIF file and I'm gonna click download. That's gonna take you just a second to download. And while it's downloading, we're gonna go ahead and choose our next one. Um, I think we're gonna go with this one, uh, the, the lovey one. You know, it's always good to have a good love emote. Let your, let your people know that, that you love and care for them. All right, so this next one is a whole other technique, okay? So just follow me. It's gonna be confusing because I haven't found a way to do it simpler, but all you're gonna do is go back to Canva, go to create a design, and you need it to be a video file. So make sure it is video, okay? Now, it's gonna load up as video, and the reason we need it to be video is we need this little editable stuff down here. Um, so now we're gonna go to resize. Now this is a pro feature, so if you're wanting to do this, um, you need to go ahead and get pro. Again, there's a 30-day free trial down in the description. Use it, cancel it when you're done with these emotes if you need to. You want it to be 1080 by 1080, we want it to be a perfect square. We're gonna copy and resize. I can close that one, I'm completely done with it. But now I have a square and I have these. And these are what I need. So I'm gonna go over here, grab the emote that I want, and I'm gonna copy it. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna press Control V to paste it. Control on Windows, Command on a Mac. I'm gonna size it up just like that. And now we're gonna put some hearts all around it, okay? Uh, here's the hearts, but if you need to find them, you can just type in the word heart. Uh, and there's, there's plenty to choose from. You can even throw some animated ones in there that would look pretty nice. Uh, but for me, I'm gonna do my own animation. That's what I'm gonna be showing you at this point. So I'm gonna grab a heart. Now I can tell this does not match that red. So I'm gonna choose the red. And a new feature that Canva just released is actually this color picker tool. So just click that little color picker icon and choose the color that you want. And now it perfectly matches. So I'm gonna drag one heart over here, oversize it, maybe add a little bit of tilt to it. Um, I'm gonna hold down Alt, drag this one over here, tilt it a little bit this way, right? Bring one down here, you know, tilt it a little bit this way, shrink it down a little bit, right? Just uh, making it kind of random. I'll select these three hearts, position, and I'm gonna send them to the back. Uh, and now I actually want a copy of this one, so Control C, Control V. Tilt it back this way, and I wanna make this one um, the eyes. And so this was actually a suggestion from my buddy Watson over here on Twitch, which if you're not already hanging out with me, we do these videos, we come up with these ideas live, and I take your guys' input all the time. So if you have any ideas, or you wanna come hang out as we make these videos, come hang out. And uh, since it was a great idea, and he just told me to do it in chat, I will have a link to his channel in the description. So if you guys wanna follow him and say, hey, the hearts and the eyes, that was a good idea. Okay, it'll be there, okay? Look at that. If you come give me good ideas, I might even shout you out in a YouTube video. <laughs> All right, so there we go. This is gonna be the base, right? Uh, we're gonna change the timing of the whole thing. I want it to be about 0.2 of a second, I think is what I had it set at. So from here, I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna right click and duplicate. So now I have all the exact same thing. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab this heart um, and I'm going to go, I'm gonna move it up, you know, about like that. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna have to move this guy all the way to the back just for the time being so that I can move these hearts. I'm gonna move this one up right here and I'm gonna move this one up. And you know, maybe as this one comes up, I'll even tilt it a little bit that way. Now I'm gonna grab my chicken and I'm gonna put him back to bring him forward a little bit so he's in front of those. And now these two hearts, I wanna make them a little bit bigger so it looks like his eyes are like, you know, kind of popping at this point, just like that. And I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna duplicate again. And I'm going to again send the chicken to the back and grab this heart and bring it up here, bring this heart where it's, you know, almost out. This heart's now coming more into frame. And as it's happened, I'm gonna bring a couple more hearts in so that they're kind of being replenished, right? And bring my chicken, bring him back to the front. Just like that. And I think these, I wanna make them kind of come back in a little bit. Not so dramatically, uh, something like that. And then we, we'll go back to the beginning and preview what we're looking at now. So very quick, uh, but it's getting the job done. So I just made another copy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these hearts back down to like a normal size. I'm gonna send him back to the back again. Uh, I'm gonna sh move this one up where it's almost out. This one is gonna be out of the frame. This one is say is right here. This one's making its way up. And this one's maybe doing the same thing, right? Bring it. And all we're doing is each one of these slides kind of acts as a keyframe. And so we're saying, you know, at 
at this frame, be here, at this frame, be here, be here, be here. And so we can essentially make like a stop motion film where we are constantly changing what happens. And so I'm gonna go back and watch it back. Yeah, so there we go. And the thing is on Twitch, this is going to loop. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and download this one. This is one second, we could keep adding, but I think you get the idea. Um, I'm going to again, export it as a GIF file, make sure it's all pages and click download. Now, once these downloaded, I'll show you what they look like now that they're completely done. Here is the first fire chicken that we made. I think that looks really, really good. But remember, we have a trick at the end. And this is the second one. I forgot to do the green screen. So we'll see uh, in this video, we'll get to compare the difference. But see how it loops? That looks very good, in my opinion, right? That looks really good. So now what you're probably wanting to do is get rid of those ugly screens. That's where this trick comes in, guys. I'm glad you made it to this point in the video because you get the super secret trick that no one else gets, okay? All right, so open up a new tab, guys. This is the trick. This one is good, okay? You're gonna go to onlinegifttools.com slash remove, whatever. It's long, it'll be down in the description. Go to this website. This website will take that video that you just made and it will take the background off of it. So import your file, just click import from file, choose the what you just made. Now, if you did like I did and you chose a green screen, it will not be this by default. I had already did this. Um, it was like this and you can see the background was not removed. What you need to do is click your little color picker, go to green, go all the way up there and you'll see the background is actually removed now. So we're gonna click save as, click download. It's gonna pop up, say be patient. Mine, almost every time I've done it, it's come up page unresponsive. Just click wait and it will work. Just, it may take it a few minutes. It is actually going, the way a GIF works is it is individual pictures that are kind of put together frame by frame by frame by frame. So it has to go through a lot to get this done. And the longer you made your GIF, the longer this will take. So right here, page unresponsive, just click wait. We're patient, we're patient. We're just gonna wait. All right, and it is already done. So let's just click it and preview it. Now, okay, I will say this. There's a little bit of green around the edges. Yes, it's not perfect. Let's let's see if you'll notice. Let's see if you'll notice. Second hack of the day, go to, uh, again, linked in the description, but Levi506.net emote tester. Go here and make sure you actually like what it looks like. Just upload it, click preview, and there it is. I can't see the green. That looks fire. Yeah, yeah, dad joke intended, dad joke intended. I just ended the video, but I had some friends tell me that you actually need to have it to be a certain size. So for me, my Twitch doesn't auto resize, but I guess that's not for everyone. I thought it was, so my mistake. In my other emo video, I don't think um, I, I did a resizer either. But if you need to resize this down, I believe they're saying it's 112 by 112 pixels. Um, you can go to this website. Again, I'll have it linked down below. The description should have all this information. Uh, easygift.com slash resize. So go in, choose the file you wanna work with. Uh, just click the word upload. Uh, it may take it just a couple seconds to actually upload. So once you have everything done, uh, come in, upload. Okay, and now that it's in there, all you're gonna do is go down here and type in what you want. I typed in 112 by 112 and click resize image. Now that it's here, all you gotta do is right click it, save image as, and I'll say, I'm gonna leave the dot gif in there just in case. Fire chicken 112, right? Resize it down, and now if I click on that file, just like that, it is 112 pixels by 112 pixels and ready to be sent to Twitch. Guys, I hope this video is helpful. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Again, this is just completely open to your creativity. So whatever you make, do me a favor, join my Discord, link below, uh, and post in the Share Your Art channel, whatever you make, guys. I can't wait to see what we come up with. Uh, really, you can make some awesome things just using Canva, guys. We're just, we're always finding more incredible ways to use Canva. Guys, I appreciate you so much. I hope that you have a great day. Um, hey, if you're not already, make sure you sub to this channel. We're putting out videos just like this every single week to help you build up your streaming brand on an absolute budget. Uh, and follow me over on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and even some Thursdays. And I'd love to see you guys there. All right, I'll catch you all on the next one. No, sir. Oh, he's gonna... I got him! Oh my goodness, someone clip it, please. <laughs>